To stop the feeder running up the line, we just use a top stop, which comes on a little loop of wire, and we put the main line through the loop, pull it off the wire, and straight on the line like that. Magic. And the feeder simply threads onto the main line via its swivel, like so. Right, then we need a loop to take the uh, hook length. So I'm just going to tie a simple overhand knot, small knot, about 12mm, 15mm long, like so. Now, to stop the swivel from passing over the knot, I'm just going to add a split shot onto the line, just squeeze tightly so that it sits on that knot, and that will stop that swivel from being able to go down the line. And just for in safety's sake, I'm going to add another one, just in case we lose one. that will just sit together like that. Now my hooks I have ready, already tied up, kept on a winder like this, so I can just simply take it off the winder, and add it to my rig by passing the loop of the hook length over the one I've just tied and passing the hook itself through the loop I've just tied and then drawing them together like so. Okay this is my starting rig with the feeder running between the stops and the shot for about two inches but if I'm missing bites I can try making the rig a bolt rig just simply by pulling the top stop down so there's no run on the feeder at all if for any every chance I want to increase the size all I can all I have to do is slide it up like so and have a lot bigger run maybe for big fish that we want to get the bait in their mouths also my hook length today is set at about 15 inches. But with this rig, if I want to lengthen that, all I have to do is move the top stop up, move the shots up, making sure of course that they're still gripped onto the line nice and tightly. And by doing that I can increase the hook length to a much longer 25 inches or even longer. 